Uh, let's look at what's happening with the markets. All this battling isn't helping the markets either, but at least when you stretch it out to the week, looks like we will see an up week for the Dow, the Nasdaq, and the S&P. Still, though, we're down 45 points. Joining us now, Bob Dahl, senior equity strategist at Nuveen Asset Management and a Fox Business exclusive. Let's put politics aside here and talk about the Oscars because it's the Oscars that are coming over the weekend. And we thought, let's start to give some awards from your perspective of best sector and best sort of portfolio plays. First, though, the macro picture. What do you make of the market move? Yeah, things are getting a little less bad. I won't say good, just a little less bad, Liz. And uh, China's not in the big black hole anymore. We had retail sales were pretty good. Durable goods are okay. The employment numbers are okay. And maybe we're not going to go into some big black hole. So. Uh, the markets are having a little bit of respite. In nice. fact, I believe we will be positive for the month as we close out here for at least the Dow and the S&P. Oh, sweet. That's good for the bowl, certainly. Yes, it will. Well, after January, we need a little break. Okay, let's, let's get to our awards here because we thought to <laughs> ourselves, let's just uh, play on the Oscar theme. So give us your best sector performance call here. Uh, technology. Love the free cash flow nature of technology, Liz, and uh, so we think that's the, the winner in that category. Mm, second runner-up telecom and then just consumer discretionary. Telecom's the best supporting portfolio play. Correct. Is that because they pay out great dividends? Yeah, and they're defensive and they're kind of in, waiting in the wings for the first shot. I love the Lifetime Achievement Award. Yes. Consumer discretionary. Right. Why? Because lifetime, really? Discretionary is when you, you use money that you have extra for, beyond yeah, the toothpaste and the... Americans are blessed. We always have some extra. Sometimes it doesn't seem that way, but it just keeps on happening. Bob, looking at the market moves and, and the Fed is starting going to be meeting March 15th and 16th, do you think they move? I don't think they'll do anything, but they'll uh, still hang out there as if... They're going to do something before the end of the year. And I think they will because I think the dust will settle and uh, the world will look enough better that they can move from 25 to 50, a whole 50 basis point. Wow, interesting. Bob makes that call. We'll see if it comes through. Please come again. Thank you. Bob Dahl of Nuveen. He's a market maven. We love to have him here.